Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sobnuski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel for another LumaFusion tutorial. So this one is going to be on pass-through text. If you don't know what that looks like, looks like this. Riveting stuff, right? Let's get right on into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, obviously, is pick your clip and make sure that you've done all of your color grading and color touch-ups. Now just drop your title where it is that you, oop, wrong title, wrong title. I always want to start with the plain white one. Now stretch that out for a few seconds. Okay, so now what we want to do is double tap on the title we've added so that we can edit it. Type in what you want to type in. Change your font. Change the size of it. I think that looks good. And I always like to make sure that I touch up the shadow because sometimes just having that shadow done just so really adds to how realistic it looks. So let me see. Okay, so I think it can be a little bigger. So let's go ahead and increase the size. I also want to move it down a little bit. Okay, so what is going to happen is she is going to walk through my children, it's going to disappear, and then it's going to come out the other end of her. So what I want to start to do now is start adding keyframes. And we do that by going to the frame and fit and go to cropping. And we're just going to see where we start here. We want to hit plus and that is going to add our first keyframe. It's very important that you hit keyframe to start because then it will automatically start to add keyframes automatically after that. But you have to do the first one. So now what we want to do is just pull this little wheel and move it frame by frame. And that is going to allow us to move it out of the way. Now obviously, the more keyframes that you add, the smoother the transition is going to be and the smoother it's going to look. So take your time with this because you do want it to look good. Always make sure you're just moving that text out of exactly where your subject is beginning. So I'm always going to move it away from her head. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks good. So now what we want to have happen is when she's done walking through my children, What's going to happen is that is going to pop out of the other end of her, out of her little butt. So what we want to do, now we can't just go back with the same title and reverse it because we have to bring it in from the left. We took it in from the right and now we have to bring it out through the left. So what we want to do now, this title, we're simply going to hit the plus sign and that is going to clone it. So now what we want to do is grab that and move that onto the top layer. Now what we want to do 
is it's going to be in the, the exact same position where that other one was. So now we just want to see exactly where we want it to start to appear. So right about there. So now what we want to do is hit the scissors and just get rid of that. So now we're going to double tap on this new title and now same thing frame and fit and that is going to bring us to the keyframing section. Go back to cropping. Okay so what we want to do now is erase all of the keyframes because now we duplicated that and now we just want to start fresh with it. Okay, so we go back to cropping, and now we're going to take it in from the left. Hit your first keyframe. Now, same thing, you're going to continue on. With moving this frame by frame and moving that slider bit by bit. The more keyframes that you add, the smoother the transition will be. And always just drag it right to the end. And there you go. So let's have a look-see at the finished product here. And there we go. That is how you do pass through text. It is that simple in LumaFusion. Thank you so much for joining me and until next time, wear your sunblock. SPF 30.